guys. So, good morning. <laughs> it's actually 11 o'clock. I had a really bad headache this morning. And so, yeah, I was actually up at 8. And then I used my massage ball for my aches and pains. And then I had a banana that didn't help my headache. And then I had some coffee. I was trying to wait to see if it would go away without the coffee. But there it was. So, funny story. So, I am really loving this Acure um, facial cleanser. Um, I got it off of Amazon and it's a little, I want to say it's a little expensive, but I actually don't remember. I'll have to look it up and I'll put a link down below. So anyway, our skin has been really dry lately because it's been dry here in Florida and yeah. So, um, hubby was looking for some lotion today after he, um, took a shower and he used this. I'm like, what lotion did you use? The Acure, he said. I'm like, that's a facial cleanser. Oh my God, I can't imagine how much he used. Because he used it on his legs and his arms. <laughs> Anyhow, I really like this. And it rates really well on the Think Dirty app. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll put a link down below. It rates products for um, their cleanliness. Their, I don't know, cleanliness. I mean, being clean, as in natural. Um, so this rates three, so I'm pretty happy with that. And it makes your face feel really soft after you use it and fresh and clean. And I really like it. I used to just wash with regular soap, whatever soap I have on hand, but I'm really liking this. not been filling grocery hauls guys because it just stresses me out too much we are getting food delivered we'd have food delivered kind well two or three times now actually we had Publix and Aldi's delivered in the same day last week because I don't know because they didn't have the stuff we needed at both that one store and then this week I had Publix delivered I think I don't know I've lost track anyway this is our makeshift uh contamination area <laughs> And we've been getting Target. So we got Target yesterday, and all the non-perishable stuff is staying in this box for three days. We're not going to touch it for three days. And then when the groceries came, I put them on the table, and I put the groceries on this half, washed them down with the sanitizer, and then the disinfectant, and then put it on that side so I could separate them. Oh, my God, it's a whole process. And I, yeah, and I still, I forgot about, I left the oranges so that's the rest of the groceries from Publix. That's Target. And I left avocados and oranges out here. Because I feel like I'm going to need to wash, wash those. Like, with soap and water. I'm not going to use a disinfectant on each one. And I don't know. I haven't gotten to that yet. So hopefully they were okay out here in the garage. I'm thinking not. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to grab my shoes and go for my walk. And I'm drinking two bottles of water. But apparently I'm not drinking enough. So I'm drinking two bottles of water on my walk now, um, since yesterday, and this is day seven of the Walk 30 Days Challenge, in case you don't know that, I started that on Instagram, and I have been posting a little bit on YouTube, so I will link those down below, but um, follow me on Instagram daily at, at my everyday wave life, and you can see where I've been walking and stuff. So um, I've been doing two, because I feel like I've not been drinking enough water, but it's apparently still not enough because I had a headache this morning. And that's usually why I have a headache or something that I ate. I really should keep a food journal, but I don't. So I'm gonna grab my shoes and the key to the golf cart to go down to the trail. And then, yeah, I don't know what else I'm gonna do today. I have really not been very productive lately. So, taking a walk, got my water, it's a little warm today, yeah, so there's the cow pasture, you can see the cow on the way out there, if I could get closer I'll show you. So I'm just going to do the trail and back, 
which is around 3,000 steps. I think that, so that's like a mile and a half. So that's good, because I think I started out doing like a half a mile. I actually started the, um, this challenge before April 1st. So I think I was doing a half a mile, and then a mile, and now I'm doing a mile and a half. Hopefully, by the end of the month, I can get to three miles. But if I don't, I'm not worried about it. I'm not, I, if you want to join the challenge, you can jump in at any time. Uh, follow me on Instagram. You don't have to walk every day. It'd be great if you did. And you don't have to work. This is not the walk 100 miles challenge, guys. <laughs> this is just walk. Mainly, it's about getting sunshine and getting enough water in you and helping your mental health is really important right now. I can't stress that. So I'm in a good place right now. I was in a good place before this started. Thank goodness. I am counting my blessings for that one. But I need to walk and get sunshine and drink water and eat healthy and all those things. Self-care, take Epsom salt bath, make sure I take my vitamins and my pills and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> anyway, I need to do all that so I don't fall down that slippery slope and stay in this good place because now is not a good time to fall down that rabbit hole. I don't know. It's not really a rabbit hole. I don't know what it is. I'm in trouble being productive. I mean, I guess I shouldn't be um, hard on myself. I am just doing this. This is only day seven of the Walk 100 Miles Challenge. So I should just worry about that for right now. And when I can do things, I can. But I feel like I'm not being productive. And I've watched other YouTubers that say the same thing. They're like, this is the prime opportunity to get all those projects done, right? But yet, I don't feel like it. Are you guys feeling the same way? So I know there's other people because I've watched them. I've watched many that have said the same exact thing. So even though on YouTube, it looks like I got stuff done, all that spring cleaning, but a couple of those, especially the last two, are pre-recorded. So I kind of lost count. Sometimes I don't know what day it is. I do know it's Tuesday today. <laughs> and um, hopefully I can have this edited for the end of the day or tomorrow. Anyway, so what was I saying? I don't know. remember what I was saying. I still don't know. So I was saying I lost count of how long it's been since I haven't been productive. Um, I suppose I could look it up on the camera. The last time I recorded a video, a spring cleaning one. Um, I'm not talking about walking because I feel that's a separate thing. I don't know. Anyway, it's been about two weeks. <laughs> I haven't done anything for two weeks. I think the last time I did something productive was when I deep cleaned the dining room. I don't know. And I haven't felt like picking up the camera to film a video. Oh. Anyway, whatever. I need to stop beating myself up. I'll figure it out eventually. And at least I'm walking, right, guys? So that is important. So I had a thought, though. See, this is why walks are good for you to clear your head, think, and stuff like that. So, I, I've been trying to go out earlier, but things happen, like this morning with my headache. But I'm thinking, I'm that kind of person when I have stuff hanging over my head, I can't complete the rest of the things. <laughs> so, like doctor's appointment, if I have a doctor's appointment at 2 o'clock, I complete nothing the whole morning because until I can check that off my list, then I can't <laughs> do anything. It's ridiculous. I'm trying to get over it, but I have a hard time. So I'm thinking maybe that's what's happening with the walks, that I am not being productive until I go for my walk because I can check that off the list and I can get on with my day. So I need to walk like 8 o'clock. And obviously I do because it's, it's hot. <laughs> I just can't seem to get there. It just takes me a while to get moving in the morning. Maybe I need to get up at 6, do my massage, sure thing, drink one bottle of water, have my coffee, and then by 8 o'clock, maybe I'll be ready. We'll see if that happens. It's a routine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm not good at routines. I don't know if you've watched my channel. But yeah, I never really have a routine. I don't know. 
I try, but it just doesn't happen. So I feel like I need a routine and I feel one. I definitely feel one. I finish my walk every day that the day's almost over. So I don't know, maybe that's a good thing. <laughs> but also I want to be productive. I mean, good thing because then the days go by faster and this thing will be all over. Yeah, not anytime soon. So I don't know. I definitely want to feel like I'm more productive. So I gotta go to bed earlier, wake up earlier, all the things. So I'm going to try to start doing that. Let's see if I can get a little bit of routine in today. And I have, oh, confession time. I have not been doing my to-do list either for like two or three weeks. Yeah, that's probably part of the problem because that's how my brain works. Even if I don't do all the things on my list, I still need to do a to-do to -do list. It just helps my scattered brain. The cows are trying to get some shade. previous video shows this stuff. It is a bar, uh, shampoo bar, and that's what's left of it. It does last a really long time, but I feel like it's drying my hair out. And right now we're having uh, a dry skin problem. And I think we figured it out finally, like after a month. I think it's our soft water a softener thing. We changed out the salt pellet set to a different brand and I researched it and apparently that one has some kind of chemicals in it. So I'm going to go back to the brand that I was getting. <sighs> I switched it because we're at Home Depot and it was convenient and I just grabbed it. Usually I get it from Ace Hardware. I'm going to go back to that. Yeah. So, so I didn't use that today. I used, uh, I used, uh, I used this. Pineapple curls. I switch out my shampoo often, even when I'm not having a problem with the water. But anyway, it's just the water, having well water and having salt water softer, softener, it it's fluctuates. So sometimes a shampoo will work and sometimes it won't. You know, my hair, is, I don't know, it's always been like that. I have really oily hair, which is weird. So, because right now it's really dry. And so I have to switch out shampoos often because it gets, I don't know what the word is place it. God, I don't know. So, and um, I have some other shampoos here and stuff. And then the conditioner, I just bought this conditioner because hubby requested it. And so I use that today. And then of course y'all know um, this is my hair crack. Yeah, but I didn't use that today. I think tonight I might take an Epsom salt bath. And then I put this on there while I'm taking a bath so I can do a deep repair. And even using this right now, my hair is still not, usually still feels dry. There's definitely something wrong with my water. Yeah, it's got to be that. So hope we're going to get some new salt and put that in the softener and when we get around to it. Anyway, so those are the things I'm using. Um, That does not even come up on Think Dirty app. So... <laughs> is really why I should only use it once a week. So the things that I want to use that are clean, you know, that are good products, natural-ish products, um, are the things that I'm using every day. That would be shampoo, conditioner, deodorant, toothpaste, face wash, you know, stuff like that, definitely. And some things I don't worry about too much. But uh, it's a work in progress. So I don't know how that rates, but I know this brand rate's pretty good. So, I forgot to look that up. And that, I don't know if that's on the Think Dirty app or not. Um, I think it is. I think it rated pretty good. Because I think I looked that one up before I bought that. So, it's definitely eco-friendly. Because all there is to throw away is that box. And the bar has lost it a long time. Okay, yeah, laundry that didn't get put away. I'll have to say, yeah, I haven't even been keeping up with the daily stuff. I don't know what to tell you. Hence why the vacuum is still there. Anyway, 
So I'm going to put this on my skin right now after I dry off and get dressed. And um, it is Jason's Soothing Coconut. And I'm not sure what that rates either, but it has no parabens. I have quite a bit of lotion that I bought before I started to dry uh, natural or all natural products, which pretty much you can't. Yeah, unless you use straight coconut oil. Eh, and that's not so nice. Anyway, it just is oily. Yeah. Anyway, so um, I'm going to try to use up all of my lotion, which I don't really use that much, but I've been using a ton of it. And even Hubby's been using a ton of it. And that kind of grosses him out. <laughs> he doesn't like that kind of stuff on his skin. So definitely having, I think, a dry skin, I think it's the water. Yeah. I don't know why I didn't think about that before, but anyway, um, yeah, I'm going to lather up, and it is already like 1 o'clock, guys. The day has gone by way too fast today. Okay, I think I'm actually going to put on regular clothes today because all of my comfy, comfy loungewear clothes are dirty. <laughs> yeah, so, um, there's that. Okay, y'all, so I'm having salad with chicken breast, uh, canned chicken breast because I wanted tuna, but we didn't have any, well, we didn't have the alcabor or whatever you call it, because that's the kind of tuna that I like. So I just took the chicken breast. We bought the chicken breast for the cats. But anyway, so, and on a whole avocado, because I have not had avocado in days. Yes, I washed it off and everything before. I cut it up and so I'm gonna sit here and do my to-do list and which is right over here and drink some kombucha and oh yeah this is my new coffee table I like it because I can pull it over here I have to say I'm not totally in love with it but I like how small it is it's actually smaller than that the kids table has which hasn't gone back in the craft room because I need to clean it <laughs> and I have a feeling that a whole lot is going to happen today and here's my my cuddle buddy, Callie, is coming over here. I'm gonna find something to watch on the TV, take a chill. I think maybe possibly my body is just trying to adjust to walking. It's been, well, today's day seven of the walk, 30 days challenge. Um, but I walked like two to three days before that. So I think my body is still adjusting to doing that. And that's sucking all the energy out of me. I, I don't know. It's not really I don't have enough energy. I just don't have any motivation. I guess I used all my motivation for walking. Which is okay. I need to give myself some grace. Is that what you say? Yeah. And um, it'll work itself out. We'll see what else I can get done today. I'll make a list. I think I'll make a to-done list. One being I walked. And um, I'm going to chill for a little bit. And watch some TV. I'm not sure what I'm going to walk. I kind of wanted to turn the air on as heavy he said no. <laughs> but actually, after I took a shower and cooled off and turned all the fans on the house, in the house, it's, it's much nicer. So, I have all the windows open. So, this is my to done list. I'm still working on my water. I want to drink two more waters today. And I do have to pick up my prescription today, but 
I can I, I don't want to do that today <laughs> I don't want to do that today so I'm gonna do it tomorrow it's the whole thing I gotta wear a mask and I yeah I don't want to do that so I don't want to do that tomorrow today so I still need to clean the kitchen do the laundry make the bed make dinner tonight and I don't know what else I'm gonna get done not a project I need to get some of this daily stuff done the house is kind of a mess so I gotta get started Can I film you for my video today? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. Wanna be my video today? Yeah. Say hi to my subbies. Wanna say hi? Hi. Hi, I'm a baby. Hi, Lissa. And see the babies. Bob said 10 feet. <laughs> How you guys been doing? You bored? Maybe mommy can let you call me sometime. FaceTime me. Huh? Yeah. Busy? So I made a sign for them, but I didn't get to finish it before they got here. So I finished it now. Maybe it won't rain. It'll be there for a couple of days. I said, come by every day and I'll add a little something to it. She's been taking the kids out just because she's tired of having them in the house all day and yeah. Must be hard with six kids all day. Yeah, I just had some ice cream and yeah, and it's four o'clock and I've accomplished nothing except for my walk. Hmm. I don't know. I was procrastinating and doing social media and talking to hubby because he got off work. Well, you know, he's been working from home. So anyway, I got the kitchen all cleaned up. Even mop swept and mopped the floor. So I got this all cleaned up and ready for dinner. I forgot I need to get this cheese out. We'll have late dinner, which we do usually do anyway. We both had late lunch and a snack, so we're good to go. So I need to my point of this is I need to shred this cheese and it's frozen. So we'll see what happens there. I think you can shred frozen treat cheese, but it needs to be a little thawed out. So we're having tacos tonight because it's Taco Tuesday and I have chicken tacos and hubby has um, hamburger tacos. So actually I have nachos or nacho salad. So chicken nacho salad. So um, y'all probably know that. And um, there'll be plenty of leftovers for us for tomorrow for lunch and that's what we're doing. We're trying really hard to eat the leftovers and not let it go to waste in the past, you know, not so diligent about that. So I set all that stuff out. Hubby is playing a game on the, um, computer and I was going to show you, um, what's in my fridge since I didn't do a grocery haul, but yeah, let me know in the comments below if you want a what's for fridge what's for a fridge what's in my fridge and what's in my pantry instead of a grocery haul because I just when I get groceries it is stressful like I said earlier and I just don't feel like filming that so I can do a what's in my fridge yeah so um that's all stucked up and I'll just show you real quick the freezer is pretty much stocked up and I cleaned this out the other week and I forgot to show it in a video, but I didn't actually film it. I just was going to show you how I organized it, but I'll do that in my what's in my fridge and freezer and pantry on another day. If you guys are interested. I made myself um, some ice water. I put some cranberry juice in there, cran raspberry juice in there. Hopefully I will drink it now because after I drink my two waters in the morning, I tend to slack off. So I figured if I put a splash of cranberry juice in with the water, it's lemon, there's lemons and limes in there. Um, I can't take it off with one hand, but there's lemons and limes in there and a splash of cranberry juice. So that's all cleaned up. And I'm still watching Garden Answers. I really like her. It's really nice to watch her because she ain't talking about that thing. <laughs> and um, I'm trying not to, but 
apparently I did that today. But I'll help, we'll put out other videos where I'm not doing that. Um, and she said today in her video that it, she likes it to be an escape for people. And yeah, it's really nice to watch it. It just seems like regular everyday life. And so I straightened up this a little bit. And then you put that away, still have laundry to do. The sun is starting to set and hubby's gonna go out and finish his 10,000 steps that he likes to do every day. He's been doing good on that. He says I owe him foot pins. I know I owe some other people foot pins and I'm sorry about that. Message me, I'll try to get it to you now that I have time and the frame of mind. <laughs> Imagine hubby unloaded the dishwasher. He's been doing that for me. So I loaded it back up, it's not quite full. I think I'm gonna start just running it, whether it's full or not. I don't know, we've been re using a couple of dishes. I mean, we're eating three meals and snacks and actually we're not eating three meals. I'm only eating two. I usually have a banana for breakfast and my coffee, then lunch, then dinner, maybe a snack. Today's snack was ice cream. Hubby does eat three. He eats cereal and then lunch and then dinner, so. Too many dishes. And hubby's gonna take the trash out when he goes for his walk and put the trash out by the road because it comes tomorrow. Do a little bit of laundry. And I don't know. I seem to get like a, a little bit of energy more in the afternoon because, yeah, I don't know. It just happens because I, I guess I take my second dose of thyroid meds and that's why that happens. Or after I'm rested from my walk. I don't know. Takes hours, apparently. Okay, how we requested I do the sheets. Um, so I'm gonna strip the bed and do the sheets and usually there's the other thing too, because hubby is working from home, I have to figure out how to work around him. He needs to go upstairs in his office. <laughs> Hopefully this weekend we can get that going. Um, gotta get his office cleaned. So he just doesn't wanna work in there because it's kinda messy and he's vacuumed and dusted and all that kind of thing. There's pollen up there from coming in the windows, yada, yada, yada. Anyway, so usually is the, this is the time where I vacuum and mop so I'm not bothering him unless I get up early, early because he does a morning walk around seven. Yeah, I did that once, <laughs> not happening. So that's all right. Like I said, I kind of get a little burst of energy in the afternoons. Um, so I'm gonna strip the bed, put this in the washer. I have that to put away from yesterday. Yeah, so today is not a project. Like I said, it's just catching up on daily chores. And then hopefully I can have a good rest of the week and get some things done, like my um, craft room. Because I want to do a tour for you. How many times have I said that? All right, let me get this done. So this video is not about me showing you clean. It's just my to-do list. I don't like to show you cleaning when I'm doing the Tuesday to-do list thing. Usually I run errands, but that's not happening today. I could have went and got my prescription, but I didn't feel like it. I don't feel like getting stressed out. So, let me finish this. Okay, the other thing I'll do is, when he's working, I'll run Chewy in here. That's the robot vacuum, his name is Chewy. Like Star Wars, Chewbacca. <laughs> yeah, we're Star Wars fan. So I'll shut the doors over here and let Chewy run in here till he runs out of batteries and vacuum up this whole thing and then I don't have to run the vacuum but I mean that doesn't need to happen at least once a week but in the meantime I could do that and Kirby Kirby um hides under the bed so there's a lot of cat fur under there and then I have to put I like the shark vac but it has problems I don't know I haven't really looked in how to use it more better um I have to put a pillow in front of that door because it will go over the edge of the track and get caught. So there's that. So, all right, I'm gonna let him run while I go attend to the rest of the laundry. And now he's getting stuck on the rug.
and he, he used to get stuck under the bed, but I don't know if you can see it, there's like a wooden stick, you know, the, a painter stick under there. I put it, it just needed to be raised up a tiny bit. And that's just there temporary until I find something else to put under there. I'll probably have Gary help me with that one of these days. So, um, yeah, it was getting stuck under the bed. It was just, so my other um, robot vac is lower and it wouldn't get stuck, but now that thing is not working. It is like a generic brand. So this definitely works better, picks up more um, stuff, <laughs> dust, crumbs cat hair um the other one didn't it wasn't as powerful because it's just suction this has a beta bar on the bottom of it and um yeah i'll put the link down below you can actually buy the set of the shark um robot vac and the handheld thing that i've showed in other videos or you can buy them separately so i'll put the link down below okay so we have the sheets going and i still have to do the comforter but we're probably not going to need it tonight it's gonna be hot Probably just use the sheet. There's one in the dryer. I still have another one that needs to be done. So this is how much yuckiness it picked up from the carpet. And I didn't even run it till the battery ran out. Um, I went in there and turned it off and then went and vacuumed with the regular vacuum too. So, cause it's just, I just wanted to do that. I had the opportunity, hubby's on the walk. So yeah, I wanted to do that cause I felt like it. I might not feel like it tomorrow. <laughs> so I'm gonna clean this out. Put in this back, put in the garbage. So I washed off these oranges and avocados earlier and they're drying I'm gonna get two for dinner so I need to shred the cheese so I'm um, back to shredded cheese I used to shred my own cheese and then I stopped eating the cheese so I really didn't care but this is cheaper this was, I think, one eighty-five for a block of cheese. Yeah, the shredded cheese costs like four dollars. So I don't know. I don't know. Then again, how much is in it? The shredded cheese. I don't know. Whatever. I'm doing it this way. It tastes better. It's yummier. And but I'm not eating cheese. It's hubby. in the freezer um yeah I'm just gonna put it in the freezer i think i'm gonna leave one out and then i have this too um he'll probably probably eat one of these a week on different stuff i don't i don't really know i'm just guessing and then this is for tonight he won't use all that so i'll have to keep that in the hr so these four will go in the um um freezer and you just take it out and let it thaw out in the um refrigerator and I mix the cheddar cheese and pepper jack cheese together. That's the way he likes it. And um, it, yes, it clumps together, but I didn't, one, I didn't stuff the, the jars full. I left it loose a little bit so it wouldn't squish down and mush together. And um, whatever, it, it doesn't clump, it does clump together. Um, but you know, the reason the shredded cheese you buy in the store clumps, doesn't clump together is because they put crap in there. That you don't need so this is natural whatever and yeah and then the the shredder part is this is a kitchen aid mixer you can find this on amazon it doesn't look like this anymore it's different this is old i've had it for i don't know 10 or more years yeah so it looks a little different you can get it for your kitchen aid i'll put the link down below
vlog because I'm going to take an Epsom salt bath and go to bed. Good night, guys. Enjoy your day.